Hi, I'm Yvonne Brooks from McNally Jackson Books. Today we're going to make pop-up dragon cards. We'll start with two sheets of paper, one for the inside and one for the outer cover. If you have the option, a thin piece is better for the inside and a little thicker cardstock for the outside is better. And we're going to put those together like this and then fold them in half. Here's the, here's the cover folded in half and here's this folded in half. There we go. So I have this. Um, our card's going to face this direction. We're going to set the cover to the side for a minute and now we're going to get the inner pop-up piece ready. Use a ruler here. This is eight and a half inches wide so the center is four inches and a quarter right there. Make a little dot and then I'm going to make another little dot one inch to that side and one inch to the side of the middle on that side so you have a two inch space there and we're going to make a line that's one inch long go one inch and another second line a second line here it's one inch long here we go now these two lines are going to mark where we're going to cut with our scissors so we're going to make the first cut make the second cut there you go and you notice we haven't done anything with the fold there that's still intact we just made these cuts in the paper two cuts all right, so now we've made it a little flat. We're going to push it down, push it down the other way. We're trying to make this very firm but also flexible, this fold here. Okay, now, next step is take your card here, or your, the inside part of your card, I should say, and what we're trying to do is push this piece to the inside with your finger pushing it to the inside, making a little concave fold there. And it's now pushed on an inside so that when you open it, you have a little pop-up area. You have the little stand or the little step or the little box that you've created. And you're going to be able to attach your pop-up items right here to the front. For example, if you when I do the dragon on the inside, you have your dragon attached right here on the back, on the front of this stand, and you put glue on the back of your dragon. There you go. And you can put a stick figure on the front, maybe a picture of yourself. Maybe you're holding a balloon bouquet, maybe you're on a skateboard. You might be saying, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day, Happy Birthday. You might be thanking your teacher. You might make a card for your grandmother. You have all kinds of choices. Uh, the other way you can do this dragon pop-up card is to put the dragon on the outside. Let me set this card to the side here. Take your, a dragon that you've made and put it on the outside. And maybe the dragon is breathing flames. And inside the flames, you put your message there. And when you open it up, there you are saying, Happy Mother's Day. I love you. Thank you for all the wonderful things you do. Happy Grandparents Day. Thank you for anything, for everything that you do. And we have this stick figure that is attached there in the front of the pop-up fold. And one thing to point out, I want to point this out, is that when this figure, for example, if I'd made it any taller, it would have protruded out the front of the card, which might or might not make you unhappy, but just to point that out so you have that awareness there of the distance from the bottom of the card, or the bottom of the fold to the end of your card. Now some of you may have recognized this dragon from Steve Light's wonderful book, Have You Seen My Dragon? 
uh, he made a video for us that's fantastic. It's attached to this newsletter and it's also going to be posted on our website that makes it very reasonable to think, well, maybe I, I could draw this dragon also. He shows you how we start with an oval for the head and make curved lines for the body, just a curve here and a curve there. And then you take all the little spikes with the, like the letter V upside down. And then for the scales, it's almost like the letter U over and over and over again. And the letter M's make good feet there. And you make little rectangle boxes there for the snout of the dragon. And it's, it's really great. I was, like I said, very inspired by his video and it gave me confidence that I could draw a dragon on my own. So whether you decide to make a dragon pop up on the inside or your dragon on the outside, I hope you have fun making these pop-up cards for all occasions. Enjoy and thank you for watching.